in action with another one of these reaction videos. Let's go. Today, we are reacting to an Instagram post about a, an accused Florida hitman filmed himself counting $100 bills that state prosecutors say was payment for assassinating a TSA officer last year. Now, I don't know when this was, well, okay, it says May 3rd, 2021. I don't know how big this went when it first was published, but this is the first time seeing this story for me. This is my first time reacting this way to an Instagram post. And this is my first time seeing this. Obviously, you see I have not liked or commented or shared it or did anything. So I said, hey, King CJ does good reactions. Let's react to this. All right. So there are some ex explicit pictures of this guy holding a a firearm, so bear with me on my editing skills on how to cover that up, uh, but I am going to be reading the story and going back to the video that was first on this two-page article here. The video released by State Attorney's Office on Wednesday shows Javon Carter, 29, gloating as he counted stacks of $100 bills detectives say were part of a ten thousand dollar payment for killing single mother lashante jones 24 in front of her daughter at their miami home on may 3rd 2021 about a year ago all right now we typically see stories like this and young people around this age doing things that is like, okay, it's a rerun. But I just had to hop on here to make a reaction to this video that y'all about to see. All right? So bear with me. Give me a moment. He's counting these hundreds. Now, based on the date, this happens after y'all familiar with the Pooh Shiesty and other people that have showed their cash and didn't realize that the feds traced them serial numbers or the IRS, all them alphabet boys are going to be wondering where is he getting his cash from? Where is this guy getting the cash from? If he doesn't have a legit job, he has something that where he is paying taxes and filing for income tax returns and all that, they're going to wonder, where is this dude getting all this money? And the other thing that I realized that is crazy, that it's like an open and shut case. I mean, you can say allegedly for legal purposes and you can say certain things, all educational. No, look at this. You see that dude's head and them eyebrows? He got them low eyebrows that even when he's excited, them shits are still low. Okay. You see them low ass eyebrows? Yeah. That's, yeah. But it's allegedly, right? Okay. So he's got on a white t-shirt. He has on this. I'm sorry about that. He has on the same white T-shirt. Now in the car when he's going with all the money that he just got paid from something, doing something somewhere. Whether it's legit or not. You can't see in the car with his pants. He took the hoodie, the mask off. And whoever the victim is. Sorry, you had to go through this. And I don't know who this is. She might have paid. But yeah, let the 
check this check this uh story out. Like, seriously. How do I even go through this? Carter asks in the video as he flashes hundred dollar bills at the camera. Another day in the office. You ain't in the office, dude. You in the car. You ain't no corporate, dude. So, okay, you self-snitching. Investigators have accused hairstylist Jasmine Martinez, 33, of fraudulently obtaining a $15,000 PPP loan last year to pay Carter. And, okay, wow. Okay, so now we got the the stereotypical PPP involved in this story. Surveillance footage of the May shooting captured Jones and her toddler walking towards their apartment when a man... Okay, look. I have a daughter and I don't have people after me or whatever somebody feel. I'm not paying either way with or without my kids, but really in front of, see that hits close to home in front of the kid. Nah. So check this story out. If you know the family of the victim, do y'all. Sales, good justice. Help that family out. Support them in any way you can. Uh, let this woman's legacy and name live on. Um, keep her child close. Keep y'all family close. Y'all need to get together, pray together, so y'all can stay together, so y'all can live on and break these generational curses. That's. That's the lesson in this reaction. All this is what I'm seeing right here is reruns. Break these generational curses. That's all y'all need to do. Just stop going through the same cycle. I ain't here to judge individuals on this situation. But it's just like... Y'all repeating the same thing over and over and over again. And it's got to change. So I thank you very much. Another lasted this long. If you stay to oh. listen to King CJ bring back one of these reaction videos. Appreciate y'all for all the support I've received on my social media platforms, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, uh, Snapchat, Twitter, all that. Thank you very much. Check me out at www.linktree backslash King XCIV. That's www.linktr.me backslash King XCIV. And you'll be able to find all these videos of all sorts funny, serious, teaching lessons, music, videos, all that great stuff on that link tree. Just click that link and you're two to three clicks away from all of my social media platforms. Check out that cash app too. Show your support. Not a damn office.